right, day 124. I'm leaving the cow camp shelter. Boy, I slept good last night. I slept in my tent. No bugs. Uh, it's funny, I couldn't find a completely level campsite. And when it's crooked, <laughs> if you've got a slant, your my sleeping bag slides downhill. So I woke up, I was down at the bottom of the tent. Skunk came and visited me last night. He didn't come into the tent, but he was walking around outside. I woke up thinking, something stinks. And it wasn't me this time. <laughs> uh, here's a water source. This isn't the real water source. This is the creek, but the water source is down a little bit. It was wonderful. I uh, did my usual. Got in last night. Decided to set up the tent because of the bugs. It wasn't real buggy, just buggy enough. Plus there were mice in the shelter. I went through the log book and everybody was talking about the mice. Sure enough, I came about later just to look in the log book and write in it. And I could hear the mice scurrying around. So I decided, at that point I was glad that I put up my tent. Anyway, uh, hung my bear bag and uh, after I ate, went back and washed my clothes, washed me, put on some deodorant, brushed my toothless, put on my sleep clothes. I went right to bed. By about 8.30 I was in bed. Tossed and turned a little bit. Knees were sore. And uh, I eventually fell asleep. I got about a six tenths of a mile slow climb this morning before I even get to the trail. Then I have a climb to the top of a mountain and then a big long 3,000 foot descent. Then, depending on how bold I am, I got a couple of thousand feet climb. And then, I have a, uh, a decision to make, depending how far I go today. The farther I go today, the more time in town I get tomorrow. So if I go to the first stop, that means I have to hike 10 miles tomorrow before I get to town. And if I really push it, I could only have to have like three miles and get to town. Either way, tomorrow's a Nero. I'm running out of food. Ah! Gotta have food. And it gives me more time to uh, upload videos and all that kind of stuff. Let me see, any other interesting things? So I washed my clothes and I hung them in a tree beside me. And uh, heck, they're already dry. Yeah, it's kind of a thrill though to put them on wet to start with. Damp. But you know, I don't stink. A lot of these people out here just stink. That's just me. I still put on deodorant at night and baby powder. And then jump in my clean sleeping bag. I didn't actually get in it last night. I kind of laid on top of it. 
And then later on, I just opened it up, pulled it over like a quilt. I love that Neo Air sleeping pad. That thing is amazing. I put down a ground cloth, put on my tent, and you know, you've got a fairly good sleeping place. There's still some rocks and roots underneath it. And uh, you don't feel anything with that thing. All right, well, I gotta focus on getting up this hill. Here we go, day 124. All right. This is nice. Just pretty flowers all over the top of this mountain. It just goes on and on. Yesterday I had green apples and blackberries. Pretty flowers today. Amazing vegetation. Trails pretty nice. Oh my gosh, I won't complain about this. I know it's got uphills and downhills, but it's not rocks, roots, and rain. I'm stepping on dirt. And my goodness, that's nice. All right, I've finished my climb. It was about a thousand feet from the uh, where the trail from the uh, shelter from that intersection up to here is a thousand plus I had that six tenths of a mile climb so I'm guessing 14 1500 feet I could look it up stealth camping spot on top that'd be wonderful nice and cool got a breeze up here the only thing is no water up here I guess you could have to, you could haul your water up, spend the night. Ugh. Extra three liters of water. I might do that sometime. There's a little rock. Nothing bad. All right, let's start down. It's a 3,000 foot descent now. The bottom of this is a big river. I don't understand. Someone said stream, maybe it was just a stream. But, and a shelter there. Which I thought about doing last night. But the uh, water situation being that it was opted for the other and I'm glad I did I still got 17 something 17.6 I think ah. I was thinking how nice it'd be just to jump in that stream <laughs> I kind of did that at mine I just washed off with my bandana and then I washed it out This is the trail today. Alright, here's a lookout from the top of this mountain. It's a little cloudy today. Humidity. You can see the clouds coming over that mountain. Alright, day 124. I'm coming down this big mountain and I ran into another, another hiker. What's your trail name? High altitude. Hi altitude. When did you start high altitude? I start on the approach trail at Springer on May 25th. So it's been two months for me now. Yeah, that's excellent. I, I live right on that approach trail, I should tell you that. All right, cool. And you said you're from Montreal? I'm from Montreal, Quebec, yeah. All right, super. Thank you. All right, I just stopped at a shelter. Got a little snack. We got all my water. And look at this cool bridge here. Been following the stream for a while. Somebody lost a shirt. 
<laughs> There's the stream. Campsite's over here. Bugs here. This is a substantial bridge. I like this. Anyway, there's the stream again. It steps down. Good place to stay off camp. All right. Let's keep going southbound. All right, here's another bridge. Went all the way across this stream. Look at that swimming hole right there. Oh my goodness. That's pretty. Very nice. I like it. Huh. Bridges going across streams. That's a great idea. I wonder why Maine doesn't do that. <laughs> they let you wade across, fall, break your arm. That's all right, though. Makes you appreciate the bridges when you get them. All right, here we All right, here it is, day two. What is it? Day something. I can't even remember right now. I met these two young ladies. They're three, uh, section hiking. Section, yeah. And what are your trail names? Mine is Cornucopia. Cornucopia, that's cool. Short stick. Short stick. And you guys are doing. I've uh, been hiking for about how long? This is our third day. Third day. Man, they're getting it. They're hiking hard. All right. All right, here it is, day 124 on the trail. And I just met these two through hikers. Hey, hey what's your trail name? My name's Robbie. Robbie? Easy. Easy. And uh, how long have you guys been hiking? May 7th for me. Yeah, around there, yeah. yeah all right. Man, they're getting it. Way to go. I'm so impressed with the trail maintainers here. They've uh, once again came in and trimmed along the side of the trail and uh, that way you're not always rubbing up against stuff. Most of this looks like rhododendron, but uh, I like that. I believe it's the Natural Bridge Amicalola, Appalachian Trail Club. Natural Bridge Appalachian Trail Club. Well, if it's you guys, thank you. You are wonderful. All right, here's this big reservoir I've been walking around. Real pretty and deep, pretty water. Somebody back here. I'll try to get a... There's a house backed up to it. Don't you know that's nice? All right, here we go. All right, here's this cool stream flowing out of the mountain. It is cold water. I'm about to filter it and drink a couple of liters. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Here's the summit of Bluff Mountain. How about this for a sign? Can you not see it? Copperhead. <laughs> I won't sit there. Anyway, back to Bluff Mountain. All right, just came off the top of that mountain, Bluff Mountain, I believe, where the Copperhead sign was. And uh, I'm 7.2 miles from the next shelter, and it's getting late, so I'm going to push it tonight and try to get there. If I get there, I'm only two miles, I found out, from uh, Glasgow, Virginia. And I just talked to a guy who will pick me up in the morning at uh, 9 o'clock. That is assuming I make the shelter. <laughs> this will be about the latest I've gone, so I'm going to have to get out my uh, headlight here in a little while. Oh, and uh, see what it's like. But anyway, it'll be good to get there. And tomorrow, if I get there, then... Um, I can uh, get cleaned up, do my laundry, resupply, eat, shower, eat, shower and eat. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, here goes nothing. All right, day 124, I'm climbing this big mountain and I just ran into a through hiker. Hello. Oh, all right, what's your trail name? I'm Billy Mayo. Billy Mayo, where are you from, Billy Mayo? I'm from Michigan. What part? I, I work... uh, like 20, 30 miles from Flint, Michigan. Oh, I, uh, I teach at Interlocking during the summers, up in oh. Traverse City. Oh, awesome. I'm taking this summer off, my wife's there now. Uh, so when did you start? I started May 16th. Oh man, he's kicking butt. Hey, way to go, buddy. Here's a view. Big old river down there. Bridge, there's a town over there. That might be where I'm going tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Very pretty. All right, let's go.